Hello and welcome to Bio 181, General Biology for Majors, first semester. My name is John Nagy and I'm the lead instructor for this class. The purpose of this video is to help online students who are first coming to this class understand the class mechanics and in particular get comfortable figuring out how to actually get things started. Now before we do that, however, I want to provide a little bit of context. In particular, I want to point out that this class is, in my opinion, the most important class that students who are going into biomedical sciences or biological sciences as a profession take in their entire career. That might seem like a pretty bold assertion, and it actually is, but it comes from my experience. I've been teaching at the university level, all levels, from introductory courses like this all the way up through advanced PhD students, research students, and medical students, and I've discovered that the students who do best, in other words, the ones who score really well and understand the material really well at the 300 and 400 level at their undergraduates, and also compete the best into these extremely competitive research and medical programs for across the country, are students who have had an excellent experience in their equivalent of this class. So I take this class very, very seriously. Also, the topics that we teach in this class relate to my own research, which re my research revolves around cell processes primarily associated with cancer. So for these reasons, I really focus my teaching primarily on this class. If you're new to Maricopa Community College system, including Scottsdale College, the easiest way to get started is with a system called My Maricopa. In your browser's navigation bar, type in the URL that you see here and hit return. That'll take you to a page that says simply students. Be aware that the picture you see may not be precisely the one shown here. To open the course, you'll need to know your MEID and password and also have set up two-factor authentication. If you need help with any of these, scroll down to the bottom of this page labeled students and click the link labeled find MEID. Otherwise, scroll down a bit until you can see these icons. The one you're after is called Canvas, highlighted here. The link may not be precisely in the same location as it's shown on this screen, but go ahead and click that link. Precisely what you see on the next page will vary, but you should see a link somewhere in this list for your MEID at Scottsdale Community College or Maricopa Community Colleges. Click that link. Now, in this page, I have two possible links because ASU uses the same system. Next step asks for your Maricopa password. Go ahead and enter it and then click Sign In. All the Maricopa colleges use a two-factor identification. They use the Duo mobile app as explained on the students page that we saw earlier. So go look for that information there if you're not sure how to do the Duo app two-factor authentication. Once you've navigated through all of that, you should be in your Canvas dashboard. The dashboard has all these little cards or tiles that represent the courses that you're taking at SEC or at any of the other Maricopa colleges. Look around through those tiles and you should be able to find two different Canvas links for this course, one for lecture and one for lab. We're going to focus on the lecture one for now, so find it and click it. Once you've clicked the lecture link, you should see an introductory page that looks like this. To start the course, click on the Welcome to Bio 181 link highlighted here you should see something similar to this page. The first thing on the page is a link to this introductory video that you're watching now. But below that is a list that's called Getting Started. That's what you want to be focused on right now. The specific course requirements that you have for your course may be slightly different than what's shown here, but it'll list exactly what you need to do to get started for your section. So notice on the welcome page that there's a link to an external website. That is, this website's not part of Canvas. However, it is the heart of this course. Go ahead and click on this link and I'll show you exactly what I mean. This is the main course website. Here you can find all the teaching content for the course. If you look at the sidebar menu, you can find the links to the syllabus, which we're going to work through in the first lecture. Links also to all the lectures, labs, and some reading assignments, as well as all the other materials for the course. Your first assignment is Lecture 1.1. To get to it, go ahead and click the Lectures link here. You can see that all the lectures for the course are laid out in these tables. Note that each lecture has links for the lecture itself and a study guide. I'll explain how to use the study guides in Lecture 1.1, but for now, go ahead and click on that Lecture 1.1 link because that's your first assignment. 
All the lectures have a similar format, similar to this one. The activities list gives you all the requirements for the lecture. For example, in this particular lecture, you're required to download the slides, watch the first video, download and read the syllabus, watch two more videos, and then complete a reading assignment. Once you've done all that, you can complete the study guide for this lecture. The study guides are all optional, but they are strongly recommended since they're critical in helping you prepare for the exam. So, although they're optional, if you complete all the questions on the guide, you'll receive two extra credit points for the next exam. And that's how we get started. Once again, I welcome you to the course, and I look forward to working with you this term. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to email me uh, at either my SCC or ASU email accounts, both of which are listed on the syllabus. Good luck this semester, and I will see you again very soon.